This is Local 15 News. In one week, Baldwin County voters will head to the polls to see if an 8 mil property tax hike is needed to fund the growing school system. It will show up on the ballot as a 5 mil tax increase and a 3 mil tax increase. Our Local 15's Madupe Doe spoke to school officials to see what they would do if just one of the new tax initiatives passes. Madupe? Well, Greg, you know, the voter here has a choice to either pass the five mil tax initiative or the three mil tax initiative. And if either one or only one of them passes, a school or district spokesperson tells me that the system has no new ways to cope with growth. We need a long term stable funding solution so that we can adequately build schools. According to Baldwin County School spokesperson Terry Wilhite, the district adds about 700 to 1,000 students a year. Take Gulf Shores, for example. Wilhite says it currently has 11 portables and offices have been turned into classrooms. We have no money to build schools and haven't built one in seven years. To raise funds, the school board is requesting an 8 mil property tax hike, but it will show up on the ballot as two different items, a 5 mil and 3 mil item. The way it's set up to vote two separately. And of course, it may be that the five mil passes and the three mil doesn't or vice versa. Uh, any, any of those could pass on their own or any, or any could not pass on their own. We asked Will Height what the school system's plan is if this happens. The backup plan is that more portables would be hauled into Baldwin County Public Schools and piled high and deep because there's no other option. According to Will Height, one mill generates roughly $3.5 million in revenue a year. So if the five mill passes, the tax would generate about $17.5 million and $10.5 million for the three mill property tax increase. The backup plan, should one of the initiatives fail, would be the only thing we could do, and that is bring in additional portables and then triage what's left to, to deal with the most dire circumstances. Now, Wilhite says if only one initiative passes, the school system will have to assess which schools need the most help, and he tells me Gulf Shores Elementary School would be top priority on that list. Reporting live in Loxley tonight, I'm Madupe Edo, Local 15 News. Madupe, 